What happens when a guy hurts you and disappears? Maybe he disrespected you or ghosted you or worse, betrayed you and ended things in a shitty way. And after many sleepless nights, long conversations with friends, taking a hit to your self-esteem, you finally move on. And when the sun starts shining again, he magically reappears. He calls you, texts you, DMs you, or worse, shows up uninvited to your yoga class. In today's video, I'm going to share two things. Number one, why do men do this? And number two, what are the strongest considerations you need to have before you ever take a guy back to show up as the strongest and most worthy version of yourself? It is very common if a guy left you and finally comes back, even after you moved on, that you might feel excited, hopeful, validated. He is now recognizing your greatness and is ready for a real relationship. And before you let your brain take you there, I'm here to say, stop. Sister, let's reevaluate this situation. I need you to be fully aware that there's other reasons that are nowhere near as benevolent as the ones that you might be imagining, why he might be coming back. And at the same time, if you're ever going to give a guy back entry into your life, I want you to have some principles at play that can allow you to show up as a strong, worthy woman and risk a lot less than you would if you just say, hey, I'm here. Let's start off from where we started. The first reason why guys show up again, reappear, reemerge from the dead, after you've moved on is because they may have felt rejected by somebody else. So rejection is the first reason. Maybe he's connecting with somebody else. Things are going well. She doesn't take his crap. <laughs> she doesn't like him for some reason. And he says, I'm out. And guess what happens? Now he's feeling his ego's bruised and he needs someone to give him a little bit of emotional support. And if he had that when he was with you, his idiotic self might be thinking, well, I can just have an easy entry here as I reach out to her and I'll feel just the way I felt about myself, which is great, seen, felt, even loved. Second reason why guys come back after they've left you is out of unconscious selfishness. Because if a guy is coming back into your life, into your heart, and he's not addressing what took place, he's not aware emotionally or intellectually or both that he's hurting you by coming back, that coming back without an explanation without having made some changes is only going to make you feel worse, but he's thinking, I'm going to feel great because she might give me some hope. She might give me some inspiration. She might give me some emotional or physical affection. Then he's only thinking about his own needs. It's like thinking that you are hurt. He's bringing you a little bit of poison and that's going to cure you. Very, very unconscious and highly selfish. Third reason why guys come back after they've left you is what I call the punch in the gut, which includes two different categories of experience. First experience is he started to realize you were more special, more unique, more beautiful, more worthy than he may have imagined when he was with you. So he kind of grasps that he took it for granted. The other part of this is he can't get what he wants outside. It's harder for him to get the type of experience and woman that he thought he could easily get. And now he's coming back because that reality is made him value you more. Now, this one is particularly tricky. Why? Because many women, when a guy says, I miss you and I realized that you're awesome and amazing, they confuse that with his ability to actually provide value now that they didn't provide then. So I'm going to talk about this towards the end. So stick with me. Now, before I share my last two reasons why guys come back, if you're a single woman watching this, I'd be willing to bet that you're not fully aware of the true root cause why you're still single. So what I've done is I've taken 13 years of helping women in every kind of love challenge you can imagine, all walks of life, every continent, to help them to attract their ideal life partner and put them together in a simple quiz you can take in about 60 seconds that will reveal to you the number one reason you're still single. If you want to participate, all you have to do is go to the first link in the description of this video right now. You'll see a page that looks like this. Answer a few simple questions and in 60 seconds or so, you'll have two things. The answer to the question, why you're still single, and a report that's going to share with you based on your specific blind spot, the number one thing you can do starting today to reverse this trend and attract the guy you want in a fraction of the time. Reason number four why guys come back is loneliness. He's feeling that deep, empty void of space, nothing to do with you, and he wants to fill that space with something, someone, some feeling. You just happen to be the person he chose for this. 
he's starting to feel like there's a lack of meaning in his life. He's starting to feel like life would be better with someone. And when that's punching him, when that's hurting his heart, he remembers, oh, this woman was actually kind of cool. Let me reach out to her and see if she wants to do some of this dance again. She wants to enjoy some of my company, but more than anything, alleviate this pain and this void from my experience. Last one is guilt. The guy is starting to realize that he messed up royally. Now, guilt can be very dangerous. If the guy feels guilty, but he doesn't yet know how to provide what he wants, him being guilty won't serve you at all. Him being guilty is just going to confuse you. It's going to drag you back down. It's going to pause you and put you in a situation that might be very risky to either you finding the guy you want to marry. Now, here is where the rubber meets the road. So many women who have done the work, who are intelligent, smart, worthy, they promise themselves they'll never take a guy back. When push comes to shove and they feel all the feelings again and they remember the intensity of the moment, all that goes out the toilet and they give a guy free hold pass again into their life. And here's what I need you to say, stop. If you're ever going to give a guy entry back into your life, you need to take a few considerations into mind. The first one is, there's many men, based on the level of pain they cost in your life, based on the level of abuse, that should never, ever, for no reason, be entered back into your life. Now, some guys, it's more of a gray area, and there might be a way for them to earn back your trust, but it needs to be done in a few stages. The first thing that needs to happen is he needs to be very clear about what happened. If he can't articulate what happened, if he's unconscious about what took place, if he doesn't take responsibility for what took place, then you're into a Russian relevant experience and you shouldn't take him back. Second thing that needs to take place besides him being aware of it is what's the plan of action? If the plan of action is, I'm just going to try harder. I'm going to be more aware. That's a risky proposition for you. Some guys might need therapy. Some guys might need some coaching. Some guys might need something other than my sheer will for you to trust that they can do what they can do for you. The third thing that needs to be present is you need to be very, very specific into your boundaries. You need to set new boundaries and start from scratch. That means that the guy who was at the pinnacle of the connection with you needs to go back to the front of the line, take a ticket, metaphorically speaking, and start dating you again on exclusively without the physical touch, without the sexual connection, and see if he can earn back your trust, get to know you again, and step by step, you realize if he's the guy you really want to be with. You shouldn't stop dating other guys. You shouldn't give this guy special preferences because he was super intense with you before. And if you can manage this, if you can manage the staging of this process, then perhaps you can give him entry step by step into your life. If you feel like the only way you can give him access back into your life is to go back to the way things were, my strong recommendation is don't. There's a lot more that you stand to lose in that situation and a little to gain. Hope this is helpful and useful. And if it is, it means the world to me and to my channel if you click like and subscribe. And if you want to continue learning how you can attract the guy you want without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to go to the next video right here.